All right, welcome to uh, our first lab in the uh, typical motor control section or module three. What we're gonna be doing is actually recreating a power circuit using lights and lower voltage. Now, later on in this class, we will be uh, actually hooking up a motor and we will be using 480 volts. We're also gonna do it with like 240, uh, just to get that practice. Right now, what the hope is, is that you're going to actually build that circuit using lower voltage and lights, a little bit safer, uh, a lot easier to do, smaller wires, a lot cheaper, all around just a lot easier for you to get the understanding of how a contactor works. Um, one of the cool things about this lab, or about, yeah, about this lab, is it can actually carry over into our next activity. So you're gonna, the next activity, we're gonna build a simple motor control, or our typical motor control, and you can actually hook it up to the one that you're gonna build today, if you'd like. Now. If you don't want to and it gets tore down, that's totally okay, but it is an option that I want you to know about. So let's go ahead and we're gonna redraw that power circuit and I'm gonna kind of make some changes to it and we're gonna kind of explain that. And then I'm gonna show you how to program, or sorry, not program it, but wire it. So you're gonna have your incoming power. And we're just gonna do our three incoming powers. Um, all of these three will be 24 volts and they will be our hot side and then we're gonna go into a normally open contact on the contactor. I, I, I say normally open contact, there's only normally open contacts on that contactor, okay? And there are three of them, and I'm gonna show you those as soon as we start wiring it. We're gonna have those three contacts. So I'm gonna go into our overload, which is always hard to draw. Getting better at them though. All right. And then it's going to go down from those overloads into three different lights, okay? And I'm just going to draw those just like this. And these are just going to be our indicator lights that run off of the 24 volts. Okay. All right. Now, from here, what I would do is I would connect all of these like this and then send them all back to a... Uh, back to a common, the common white or the return. So I'm just going to draw a uh, ground symbol here. But we're going to take that white wire all the way back and we're going to hook it up into our circuit or back to our transformer. The, now if I was going to color all these wires, it's going to be red all the way. Let me go ahead and we'll do this. Uh, and it's going to be red here. And then from here down, it's gonna be white. We'll just put a W, okay? So this over here will be white. This will be all red. We're not worried about actually getting our wire numbers for this one correct, but do remember them coming in will be L1, L2, and then L3. Down here, they will change into T1, T3, or T2 and T3. Um, that's because now they're terminals on that motor, okay? So, again, it doesn't matter which indicator lights you hook up, they just have to be hooked to three indicator lights, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna be pushing the manual um, override of that contactor to turn on these lights. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and switch over, we're gonna go ahead and build that on the trainer, and I'm gonna show you how it works, and we're gonna talk about submitting it, and get that all done. All right guys, so I'm over here at the board and I wanted to say this really quickly. Um, my actual contactor will not fit on my center rail. Um, it's just not centered. This was a, you know, mess up or a, uh, our trainer was the one that didn't make the cut. So mine will be going, being mounted down here. Do not think that that is the place that you have to mount it. You can mount yours anywhere you'd like. I highly recommend you do one that are mounted in such a way that will actually get you, um, Hey, make you use the least amount of wire, but do whatever you gotta do, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to jump over from my red block over here, because that's gonna be my, my uh, hot side, bring it over and I'm gonna bring it into one, into each one of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into one and then I'm gonna jump it over to the next one, okay? So let me go ahead and let's get that started. All right, so before I begin, 
or continue, I wanted to talk a little bit really quick about how I'm using, see that L1, L2, and L3 right here? I'm not using these A1 or A2 terminals up here just yet. We're gonna do that in our next activity. Um, and all I did was I jumped it from one to the next because I'm gonna have one voltage coming into these. Now, if this was a typical um, power circuit, it would all have individual wires or lines coming in because they would all have different phases um, and we don't wanna you know, mix all this. So what I'm gonna do on the bottom side, actually way back up underneath here, there'll be three terminals that are the outcoming terminals from these ones. So they're actually going to run through the contactor here, through the overload here, and then they come out underneath here, okay? Do not get confused with these four that are right here because these ones are actually the indicator switches from our overload. So we would use these to turn on a light or something like that, and we're gonna get into that later. So there'll be, there'll be three individual wires that come off of these terminals here that are then gonna go up to my indicator lights. So let me go ahead and let's get those wired in. Now, all I'm doing is I went ahead and I put my light box right here so that way we don't have to spend a bunch of time running wire all the way around the, the, um, the trainer. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep it really nice and tight and close. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna run all three of them and then I'm gonna hook up all of the lights at one time, okay? So I'm gonna give myself extra here. And then it's pretty much I'm just gonna go to each terminal, bring them up into the box. So now that I've got all three of my wires here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect them to one side of three separate lights. I'm just gonna do all mine on the end here. Doesn't matter what three you do, okay? All right, so now I got all my hot wires done. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some jumpers that go from one from here to here to here, and then I'm gonna have one that goes all the way back up to my black uh, terminal block here. This one might be a white terminal block for you or whatever you've decided that color could be. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and run those. Make sure you don't pinch any wires when you're putting this cover back on. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it back around, okay? It, if I had a hole in the top of my box, I would have gone out of the top of my box and over here, but I didn't, so maybe something to think about. You guys have enough time, go ahead and pop that hole out of the top if you need it. All right, so now it should be all wired up correctly. So let's go ahead and let's throw our covers back on and then we'll go ahead and test it. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock out my uh, my trainer here, so it's now good to go. I'm going to flip it on, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my screwdriver here, and now this little inside black piece right here, let me go ahead and zoom that in a little bit, see if we can get that a little bit closer. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but this center piece can be pushed in, and it's just a manual override, pretty much, and if I press it, all of my lights turn on, so all those contacts become closed. So literally every time 
we turn this contactor on, it's connecting those contacts. And remember, those contacts are extra heavy duty. They can handle like 600 volts. Um, and they're, they have a very um, high, like I don't wanna call it, high magnetism or high quality magnet that really sucks them in tight. So that way there's no arcing or anything like that. So um, this is the lab. What I'd like you to do is, again, we don't have to worry about wire numbering. I do want us to make sure that we are using the correct wires. Everything must be inside of the runway, so just please make sure you do that. Um, but go ahead and make sure you make a video and kind of explain what's happening and that this, this is the power circuit, okay? So good luck.